All right, we're actually at our, our home lake, Lake Tomalex. Only have a few hours to fish. This is our closest fishing spot. <laughs> Let's see. Itty bitty. Itty bitties. Might have more luck casting at the weeds. Good job, buddy. Yeah, really he got away. Job. like the spot. Yes it does. It's too shallow here. Shut up. Oh god damn. With the horn. Yeah this sucks. Turtles everywhere and the spot just sucks. It's too shallow. There's no cover. Alright, we'll walk over to the other side. Uh-huh. Yeah, like I don't get people. You know, you show up here with like Granny Hooker or whoever that was. You sit on the bench for 10 seconds and then you get up and leave. And then you honk twice. Catch a fish, but we can catch a lid. Yeah. Friggin' wasps. There we go. Yeah. All right, first catch of the day for me, decent sized bluegill, thrashing. No, you're not slipping away. Yes, you are. Now well, since you have to be a jerk, let's see if you can get back to the water yourself. Nope. First catch of the day, little bluegill. Thought he could do it all on his own. He could not. Don't worry. Gracious overlord. All right. So I doubt anyone really even needs a tutorial on just pan fishing or anything, but uh, all I'm doing at this point, since they're all right under the dock where we're fishing, is uh, I'm not even bothering with a bobber. I'm just using a worm on a hook, and I'm going to put a split shot on the line so that it sinks faster. Uh, when I pan fish, I use these little swivels um, just in case I want to switch out to, you know, different kinds of hooks or perhaps uh, put on a, a jig or something at some point. So that's all you really do. That's just to make uh, your lawn, your bait sink, find the bottom quicker. Oh, right, you got a pumpkin seed? pumpkin seed? Is that a pumpkin seed or a shell cracker? It might be a shell cracker. Actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a shell cracker. Yeah, a little shell cracker. For some reason, uh, they like it around here, I've noticed. Although he's got orange fins, so I don't know. He's going crazy. All right, got something. Well, it's a bluegill, it's uh, very dark. And it's got a red spot disease all over it. Well, on, on the fin anyway. Okay, little twitchy ass bluegill here. Very dark, this one. Dark bluegill. 
And you can see here uh, on his fin, that, that abscess there, that is a uh, red spot disease, and it must be affecting his brain because he is twitching like a little uh, thing that twitches. Yeah, and a lot. So for me, when I'm doing this, and there's no way to do it without getting this stuff all over your fingers and up your fingernails, so hand washing later is essential. Well, I usually like doing it with lures instead of all this messy <laughs> But uh, I usually take about that much worm and I just hook it once right through the middle and leave it on the hook like that. And uh, I'm not sure why you would think that that is not as strong a setup, but I get more hookups when I, when I just hook it once through the middle than when I try wrapping it around and hooking it several times. See, he's got the little beginnings of his copper nose right there. Pretty little fish. Oh, he's got red spot disease too. Yeah, the, the fish at this dock are uh, very typically sick. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I think I found a bit of a little honey hole here. Alright, tiny, tiny bluegill. That would explain why they're so effectively stripping my hook, although I do have a nice tiny hook on there. I think it's a, uh, well, I don't know the size. <sighs> All right, so this is the, uh, the name of the game today, Catch Tiny Bluegill. Now, if I wanted to, I could suspend this guy from a bobber and uh, try to catch a bass with it, but uh, let's just say it is not feeling like a very productive day. And you never know. But uh, on the other hand, uh, we don't have much time to be doing that kind of crap. She's, we gotta get her to work in, uh, I don't know, like an hour or something. So I'm not gonna bother. But uh, one day maybe. Uh, I will also say that I've pretty much never had any luck whatsoever doing that in this, in this lake. This is one of, the, one of the many reasons I'm not a fan of Lake Tomalex. This just kinda sucks. Oh. This is something a little more decent. What do we got? Just a, a bigger bluegill. You just try to take off with it like a champ. No, this isn't a bluegill. It's got orange eyes. Probably a shell cracker. That would explain the hard fight. Let me see. Of course, there are, uh, there's a lot of hybrid uh, bluegill shell cracker combos around here. You spine me, I'm gonna punch you, fish. All right, so there you go. Uh, I believe this is just uh, just actually a regular bluegill. No shell cracker involved. Yeah, I thought his eyes were orange, but it was just the way the light was hitting them. All right, nice hard fighting little gill. We'll send him back to the fish dimension. Get him away from my bait. All right, last look. Here we go. You ready to go back? I'm ready to put you back. Shoot. You know, the, the whole deal for today, I don't think I'm gonna get on anything more interesting than a bunch of bluegill. Mm. Very tasty. Sheets, cold brew, my favorite. Sheets, if, uh, if you see this and you want to start sponsoring my videos, let me know. We'll get in contact. We'll do lunch. Mm. Maybe give me a free cold brew for life card. All right. What the hell am I doing with my life? There we go. Well, you could do this here all day. Almost got your eye, didn't you? All right, bluegill again.
All right, got something. All right, here's something different. I believe this is a pumpkin seed for sure. All right, glad to see you, little guy. Oh, look at the colors on you. This is the prettiest pumpkin seed I've ever caught here. All right, so there is a beautiful little pumpkin seed caught here at Lake Tomalex. Those uh, spots on them are really coming out nice. And you can see the green lines on his face really well. Hmm. Gorgeous, gorgeous little guy. I like that. Always like to see them. All right, well, let's let him back before he uh, gets stressed out too much. Have a good day. And he swam right back under the dot. See it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, they got that nice iridescence. It's really pretty. Very pretty. <laughs> hmm. Ooh. Did you get something good there? Okay, doubled up. Hey, hey, hey. Stop. Stop. Alright, let's see yours first. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. Stop. He looks just like the uh, the pretty little pumpkin seed I just caught. Very pretty. It's weird to me that they're here hanging out with all the bluegill. All right, now let's have a look at mine here. This is the most uh, decent fish of the day so far, I think, mm -hmm, except for yeah. maybe yours earlier. He's big. Yeah. Thought he felt bigger. Nice fish. Yeah. All right. Nice hand-sized bluegill here. Mm -hmm. pretty. There we go. Nice colors and everything. Hmm. Nice fish. Yeah. On, Let's fix your jaw there. All right, back you go, sir. Kerplunk. We were catching such big ones that one day, I guess they were in close spawning or something. Yeah, but we of course, when we try to film it, we can't catch